Good evening. Please be seated. Good evening. On behalf of Santa Monica College, I welcome you to this year's commencement exercise. I want to extend a special welcome to the parents, loved ones, and friends of the graduating class of 2016. My name is Jeff Shimizu, and I am the interim executive vice president of Santa Monica College. I also want to welcome our worldwide audience watching today's ceremony on our live webcast. Now, today is a very special day for all of us. However, before we begin our program, Santa Monica College would like to offer our condolences to the victims, families, and friends from the unfortunate tragedy that happened this past Sunday in Orlando, Florida. At least nine of the victims were students at area colleges. As a community, we grieve and we stand in solidarity with the families who lost their loved ones. Please join me in a moment of silence as we remember, we remember all the victims and think of our own family and friends. Thank you. At this time, I would like to ask our student speak, speaker, Karishma Lakani, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. It is my honor and privilege to introduce our platform party. Let us start with members of the Board of Trustees of the Santa Monica Community College District. Please hold your applause until all are introduced and will the trustees remain standing until all have been introduced? The chair of the board, the Honorable Dr. Luis Jaffe. The vice chair of the board, the Honorable Dr. Andrew Walzer. The Honorable Dr. Nancy Greenstein. The Honorable Dr. Susan Amanoff. The Honorable Dr. Margaret Quiones Perez. The Honorable Barry Schnell. The Honorable Rob Rader. Please join me in thanking the board for the outstanding support and leadership for Santa Monica College. I would also like to introduce the remaining members of the platform party and other special guests. Please hold your applause until all are introduced. Dr. Catherine E. Jeffrey, Superintendent President, Santa Monica College. <laughs> Dr. Timothy Law Snyder, our commencement speaker, President of Loyola Marymount University. <laughs> Teresita Rodriguez, Santa Monica College Vice President of Enrollment Development. Fran Chandler, President of the Academic Senate and Karishma Lakani, your fellow graduate who will deliver the student challenge. I also would like to introduce Father Rob Robert B. Lawton, former president of Loyola Marymount University 
and Mr. Paul Hosh, Chair of the SMC Foundation. Both are in our audience today. We also need to acknowledge Dr. Esau Tovar, Dean of Enrollment Services, Eveline Peterson, and Anne Marie Leahy, who coordinated tonight's commencement, and all of the college employees who worked for many days to prepare for this great event. Thank you very much. <laughs> Graduates, how many of you know that this ceremony is being webcast live? I know that you're on your phones, <laughs> so go ahead and text or WhatsApp your friends and families and tell them that they can watch you get your diploma on our Alumni Association website. That's alumni.smc.edu. Speaking of alumni, that is what all of you are about to become. You will always be part of the SMC family. Please check out the back pages of your program for information on how to stay connected with our Alumni Association and also how you can share your pictures from today with the rest of your SMC uh, family. I would now like to acknowledge those who have mentored you, taught you, and inspired you to believe in yourselves and in the power of your dreams. I ask all of the faculty and staff of Santa Monica College to stand up. <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging this group of dedicated individuals who have been your teachers, mentors, and friends. And let's not forget your family and friends. Graduates, please stand up and face the audience. <laughs> Give them a round of well-deserved applause. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce the chair of the Santa Monica College Board of Trustees, Dr. Luis Jaffe, to address our graduates. Okay, welcome graduates. Families, friends, and colleagues, proud to be? SMC. Proud to be? SMC. Well, what does that mean, proud to be SMC? What is it about SMC that makes us so proud? There are many reasons I'm proud to be SSM SMC. For starters, I and my fellow trustees are proud of SMC's diversity. Student Alyssa Nardo described SMC's diversity in the last issue of the Corsair. She wrote, we are so fortunate to go to a school full of diversity. Our student body is made up of artists, nurses, parents, and veterans, people young and people old, people looking to transfer and people enrolled only to improve their educations. We have this grand opportunity to interact with people from backgrounds different from ours and different from anything we've seen before. Well said, Alyssa. My fellow trustees and I are proud of SMC's mission, changing lives in the global community through excellence in education. We're proud of SMC's excellence, SMC's commitment to open access and excellence, because excellence is what you need and excellence is what you deserve. Above all, we're proud of you, who you are, where you come from, what you're doing, where you're going. We believe in you, and we're proud to be of service to you. Which leads me to my commencement advice for you. Continue. Don't stop now. Don't stop ever. Graduates, you're graduating today because you kept going. 
You didn't wake up yesterday and say, oh, I think I'll earn a certificate or a degree tomorrow. No, that is not how achievement and progress happen. You are here because you took one class with everything that entails, and then you took another class, and then another. The accumulation of those classes, those many actions that go into passing each class, that's what got you here today. And as it is with attaining a degree, so it is with everything worth accomplishing. If you just take one step, you won't get very far. We may be proud to be SMC, but we are now in the midst of a contested presidential election where it is clear that not all Americans are as proud of diversity as we are. Not all Americans embrace our vision of a global community. The presidential election in November, like all elections, will be decided by who votes. And voting is just like going to class. It is not a one-shot deal. It's a step. It's a step along the way. To get very far, you have to keep doing it, every election. In every election, you have to make the best selections you can to advance your values and beliefs. You have to keep at it. Sometimes you couldn't get the class you wanted or needed. You had to make do with another class. That's the way life is. Find the best possible available way to continue to move forward. And don't give up. You haven't lost until you quit. Keep going, just as you kept going to get here. To this day, your graduation from SMC. Graduates, I hope you carry with you always what you have experienced and learned here at SMC. From SMC, you can go everywhere. And don't be afraid to try new things. Don't stop yourself. Remember these words by 20-year-old poet Aaron Hansen. What if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? Graduates, we know that you can fly. The future is yours. Proud to be? SMC. Thank you. And Congratulations. Thank you. The board liked it. That's good. <laughs> They're usually my biggest critics. Okay. So on behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is now my great honor to preside over the investiture of this new Superintendent President of Santa Monica College, Dr. Catherine E. Jeffrey. An investiture is a formal ceremony conferring the authority and symbols of high office. It's an opportunity to welcome a new era and celebrate as a community. What better occasion to welcome a new era and celebrate as a community than this commencement? As you graduate, celebrate, and begin a new era in your lives, so too do we at the college. We celebrate your graduation and we're confident and optimistic as SMC begins a new era under the leadership of Dr. Jeffrey. The selection of Dr. Jeffrey reflects the values and aspirations of the college community and the Board of Trustees. We believe that Dr. Jeffrey is the right higher education leader for the job. She is accomplished, experienced, knowledgeable, strong, student-centered, community-minded, thoughtful, thorough, a good listener, a good communicator, willing to try new things, able to make tough decisions, a musician, an educator, an explorer, a person of integrity. She shares our values and our vision. She believes in Santa Monica College. She believes in you. She is one more reason we are proud to be SMC. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Katherine Jeffrey. <laughs> Fellow trustees, will you please stand? And Vice Chair Walzer and Dr. Jeffrey, will you please join me? Um, it is now 
my honor to present the Presidential Medallion, a symbol of the Office of the President to Dr. Jeffrey. This medallion is a sign of authority, continuity, and allegiance to the institution. It is symbolic of the President's guardianship over the mission and resources of the college. Let's see if we can take this out. Well, we'll just stand here. I'll swing it. Do you want to put it on? Uh, not in a minute. By the authority granted in me by the Board of Trustees of the Santa Monica Community College District, I hereby invest you, Dr. Catherine E. Jeffrey, with the Office of Superintendent President of Santa Monica College. Then, by virtue of my authority as the chair and on behalf of the Santa Monica Community College Board of Trustees, on this 14th day of June, in the 87th year of the institution, I declare you formally installed as the Superintendent President of Santa Monica College with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that the position carries. Dr. Jaffe, members of the Board of Trustees of Santa Monica College, I accept the charge to become the fourth superintendent and president of Santa Monica College with pride and excitement. I will, to the best of my abilities, dedicate myself to serve this college and its community so that Santa Monica College may keep its unflinching place of distinction as a leader and innovator of higher education for years to come. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Santa Monica College Superintendent President, Dr. Catherine E. Jeffrey. Okay, all right, all right, now you're on. Thank you. I feel kind of like the graduates at the end of graduation ceremonies. I want to take my TAM and throw it in the air <laughs> and wave my hands like I just don't care. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> thank you, Chair Jaffe, Vice Chair Dr. Andrew Walzer, and thank you to all of the members of the esteemed Board of Trustees of Santa Monica College for entrusting me with the honor of serving Santa Monica College as its fourth superintendent president. And since my first day on the job, February 8th, I've been greeted warmly and treated with great respect by the faculty, staff, and students of this fine institution. I've started the process of engaging community leaders and local residents uh, and it's my intent to build relationships with as many individuals and groups as I possibly can because I hear over and over from our partners inside the institution and across this region and across the state and from outside of the country as well. SMC graduates and community friends are all proud to be SMC. What do college presidents do? I know you ask yourselves that. What do college presidents do? Well, I'm happy to share with you just a few of the things that I've been doing since I started 127 days on this job. You might have seen me on campus to the faculty and staff and to the students. You may have seen me out in the community at a number of different events. I've attended Student Services Awards, Alpha Gamma Sigma Awards Dinner, classified employee recognition events, associated student government meetings, student plays, art exhibits, photography shows. I've attended department meetings for math, English, physics, life sciences, early childhood education, social sciences. I helped judge the Global Citizenship Symposium, the spring photography show. I'm serving on the Broad Stage Board the Santa Monica College Foundation Board, 
and on regional, statewide, and national committees on behalf of community colleges. I've attended events for STEM students, veterans, student athletes, SMC, a scholarship program I attended just this past week and on last Saturday I had the awesome opportunity to be in the audience for the Synapse Dance Theater. You really need to scream for that because it was awesome. <laughs> it was amazing. I have met with colleagues and students at all SMC locations, the Bundy campus, Airport Arts Campus, the Performing Arts Campus. I've walked every floor of the Emeritus College twice and looked at every classroom there. I've visited counseling, financial aid, and STEM tutoring centers, the cosmetology department, KCRW radio station, the organic learning gar garden, which was a rewarding break. <laughs> Some of these places I visited because I was scheduled to be there. Some of them I just popped in because I was in the, the vicinity and wanted to just peek in and see what was happening. I even found time to squeeze in 14 dance lessons <laughs> over a nine week period so I could participate in the first ever Sand and Sea Ball to raise money for the Santa Monica Malibu Education Foundation and provide dance lessons for every fifth grader in the Santa Monica Malibu Unified School District. I take time to meet people who are part of our community. I especially enjoy it when students come up to me and ask if I'm the new president. And just last week, someone approached me and said, are you the new principal? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that means people recognize me and that makes me feel good. They quickly tell me uh, what they like about being part of SMC and they equally tell me what they don't like. I make it a point to follow up on things we can improve and I share news about the things we are doing well. I've addressed the Malibu City Council in support of our proposed SMC Malibu campus. My first uh, weeks on the job, I was privileged to view the premiere of Agents of Change, a documentary that tells the story behind the civil rights protests at campuses like Cornell and San Francisco State in the 60s. The film was co-directed by SMC Associate Dean Frank Dawson, and it took top award at the 2015 Pan-African Film Festival. Also, I attended the premiere of a moving documentary about an artist living with depression. Heaven is a traffic jam on the 405, directed by SMC Foundation board member Frank Stifel who is also a scholarship donor, donor. And I have to tell you, after seeing that movie, when I'm riding on the 405 freeway, I have a totally different perspective now. So I'm not so frustrated by it. I've communicated with SMC student Kevin Maxwell, whose film Cora was screened in May at the American Pavilion at the Cannes Film Festival and was shortlisted for the British Academy of Film and Television. This opportunity that I have to be part of such a dynamic and transformative community is energizing and inspiring and is something that I do not take for granted. I have served in higher education for well over 30 years, nearly 40 years. I think I'm short of 40 years by about two weeks. As a faculty member, I've been a faculty member, a counselor, program coordinator, and an administrator. I was a dean at California Community College's Chancellor's Office and served as president of two community colleges and the chief campus administrator of a third. I told students last week at the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society induction that when I was president of Hennepin Technical College, I thought I could not fall in love again with a group of students because I loved those students at HTC so much. But I was wrong. When I became the president of Sacramento City College, I thought, this is it. I can never love another group of students as much as I love the students at Sac City. Again, I was wrong. 
Then I found myself here at Santa Monica College. And I am truly overwhelmed with the affection and love that I feel right out of the gate for the students here at SMC. I honestly love you as if I've been part of your journey all along. I want big things for you today. And I want big things for you in the days and months and years ahead. For my colleagues that I work with here in the college, I want to work with you and make the best decisions possible to benefit our entire college community. My broad universe of experiences has helped me develop skills and perspective in ways that enable me to stand before you as the president of Santa Monica College. I do not think this is an accident. So far, I'm enjoying working with you. <laughs> and I'm learning from you as I hope you are learning from me. I enthusiastically look forward to our years ahead and this investiture of my role as president has been placed on this commencement program to enable me to publicly accept the authority and responsibilities I have to serve the students, the faculty, the staff, and the external community of Santa Monica College as a whole, but mostly because of the responsibility I have to serve the students of SMC. Now, I want to say a few words directly to you, the graduates. I want to give you two visuals to take with you as you leave SMC. One visual is solid, the other is fluid. The first visual is to give you courage and confidence. One of my favorite poems is by Langston Hughes. It is titled, Mother to Son, and it starts like this. Well, son, I'll tell you, life for me ain't been no crystal stair. I've taken the liberty to paraphrase the poem a little. I don't think Mr. Hughes would mind. <laughs> well, students, you've told us life for you ain't been no crystal stair. It's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor, bare. But all the time, you've been a climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So as you graduate and complete certificates, don't turn back. Don't you sit down on the steps because you find it kind of hard. Don't you fail now. Keep going. Keep climbing. Although life for you ain't been no crystal stair, claim that crystal stair one step at a time and make it yours. And when you get to the top, and I have no doubt that you will make it to the top, please look back and you will see all of us here at SMC cheering you on to your next highest achievement. Now the second visual I want to give you is one of hope to remind you of your personal value, to appreciate your legacy. As the class of 2016, you represent an incredible diversity. That has already been acknowledged by Dr. Jaffe. Our youngest graduate this year is 16. On the other side of the spectrum, we have a 72-year-old graduate. Over 5,000 degrees and certificates are being awarded this year, representing a whole range of majors. Among you, there are future and current nurses, graphic designers, teachers, cosmetologists, you can cheer for your area, scientists, performing artists, computer scientists, I could go on and on.
You've come to Santa Monica College from the city of Santa Monica, from China, from South Central Los Angeles, from Sweden, from Brazil, from Iran, from Orange County, from Turkey, from throughout California, across the country, and from around the world. You have enriched our college with your unique perspectives, languages, cultures, and abilities. The mission of SMC has the term global community in it. And as a community of teachers and learners, we are very proud of our diversity. Thank you for making Santa Monica College such a rich microcosm of our incredible global community. And be proud of who you are and where you come from. Be proud of your roots, both a physical place and also an emotional and spiritual space where you feel most comfortable. Along with this, also remember the world is bigger than where you are today. While your roots are an important part of who you are, learning is a lifelong process. Stay open to new ideas and points of view and use critical thinking to filter that new knowledge, keeping what makes you a better person and casting off the rest. The world is at a crossroads today and it is more important than ever for us to acknowledge and harness power and strength and beauty and intelligence, which comes in many, many, many forms. You, the class of 2016, are like the tide that rolls out and takes sand with it, so you will leave with SMC a part of who you are and you will take part of the college with you as well. And in doing so, you will leave a great impression of yourself with us. We will long remember you after you leave. And we will be telling incoming students about you as you will recount to others the things that you remember best about your times here at SMC. So as you go from shore, one shore to the next, and put out new roots both far and near. As you climb each stair, please remember to be proud to be SMC. Okay, now we got that over with. It's a little long, but I had some things I wanted to say. You know how it is. I get this one opportunity as a first time, so I just needed to get it out. Now I have to find my place in the book. Okay. It is now my pleasure to recognize the Santa Monica College Foundation's Alumni Recognition Award recipients for distinguished community service and outstanding professional achievement. The Vice President of Zambia, the Honorable Inonge Matukwa Wina, SMC Class of 1962, and renowned feminist media, media critic Anita Sarkeesian, Class of 2005. They are not present here today as we have conferred their awards in formal ceremonies during recent visits here to the college. You can read about both of these incredible women in your programs, but please, with a round of applause, let's acknowledge them. Next, I am pleased to invite my colleague, the president of the Santa Monica Academic Senate, Santa Monica College Academic Senate, Fran Chandler, to deliver the faculty challenge. On this magical summer evening, I have the dubious task of issuing a challenge to you from your professors. Instead of celebrating you, I have to challenge you. So, what shall it be? Another homework assignment? 
Okay, how about an in-class activity? Oh, I've got it, another final exam. Eh, I didn't think so. Well, here's my challenge to you. M-O-S, more of the same. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you did to get here tonight. Now, to those of you in the audience, I need to explain why that little bit of advice makes sense. In business, which is my discipline, we teach our students to understand their target market. So taking my own advice, I surveyed the college graduates this year, and I asked them three questions. Look into your crystal ball and tell me where you see yourselves in five to seven years. Then tell me what obstacles you had to overcome to get there. And then, last but not least, tell me what is the single most important characteristic, trait, or quality that got you there. Well, this was all set up. I already thought before that survey was done that what I was going to do was nitpick your answers. I thought I was going to have to criticize you on your naivete. I thought I was going to have to caution you, choose a four-year college that you can afford, not one that gives you the most prestige or the one that gives you the biggest student loan package, those kinds of things. But I'm very pleased to inform you that because of your responses to those three questions, I'm not gonna be giving you that kind of advice. And the reason I don't have to give you that kind of advice is you already know what you want and you've chosen very wisely. You also know exactly how to get there and even better, you're self-aware enough to know what strengths you have that you possess that you can capitalize on to use to get there. All right, so that didn't work. But let me describe to you some of your answers. Uh, there were a few people, though, who didn't take the survey seriously. And I have to tell you about one of those. My favorite was the person who sees him or herself teaching in five to seven years. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Absolutely not. I love the career. But he sees himself teaching with an eight-figure salary. Clearly, this person is not a math major, or he just forgot to mention all the decimal points, or he just doesn't have good research skills. But I tell you what, as a teacher myself, I really admire the direction the brain was moving in. I was impressed by those of you who took the survey seriously. Your chosen careers in law, computer science, oceanography, cinematography, medicine, business ownership, material science, accounting, the armed forces, therapy, cosmetology, art, educating young girls in cultures where the education of females is forbidden, international trade, diplomacy, etc. All your choices reveal a solid work ethic, strong principles, and good critical thinking. Some of you are clearly down to earth, others of you are not. A couple of you see yourselves doing important scientific work at Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And at least one of you plans to walk the surface of Mars. Some of you are proud to be good examples for your children, or the first in your family to make it through college. Many of you are happy to make your parents proud. A few of you are glad that graduating has allowed you to prove you are not the failures certain people in your lives expected you to be. Go, go ahead, graduates, gloat a little. There is nothing wrong with a little in your face. 
Your description of the obstacles you will have to face in the next five to seven years was thoughtful and realistic. Most interesting, though, were the stories some of you told me about the obstacles you've already had to battle just to get here tonight. Several of you mentioned sobriety and freedom from substance abuse. For that accomplishment, I, I salute you and wish you well on your lifelong journey in sobriety. Others of you mentioned extreme anxiety attacks, jail, fear of failure and failure itself, social stigmas making you doubt your own ability to succeed, living in a new country, learning in physical disabilities, having to learn English, having to take remedial courses before you could get to the courses you came here for, depression, bankruptcy, death of loved ones, and so forth. Such fortitude you have shown, more of the same. Some of you took the time to thank Santa Monica College and your professors, referring to SMC as your second home. On behalf of the college and my colleagues, I say you are most welcome. It has been a pleasure to serve as your mentors, your challengers, your cheerleaders. It is good to know we can't be replaced by an app. As one of you put it so well, we are pleased to have been here to push you where you knew you wanted to go. The survey responses that gave me the most insight into who you really are were the strengths you identified, the qualities that have helped and will continue to help you achieve your dreams. Resilience, perseverance, persistence, Relentlessness, determination, patience, dedication, drive, will, strength, flexibility, ambition, passion, endurance, to name a few. This was a good one. You have to listen carefully to this because it's a quote. I never stopped quitting. I had to read it again because I didn't think I was reading it correctly. I never stopped quitting. Yes, you did. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here tonight. You figured out how to stop quitting and finish what you started, and you did it. So to you, I say, keep it up. More of the same. Some of you stressed how important it has been for you to be open-minded and to balance tolerance for the ideas and beliefs of others with your own need to be yourself and to speak your mind openly and freely. Some of you mentioned your faith and how important it is in helping you remain positive and in solidifying your belief that you mold the world to suit yourselves, not the other way around. So to wrap this up, M-O-S. More of the same, no homework assignment, no in-class activity, and no final exam, not today. Keep doing what you're doing, what you did to get here tonight. On behalf of all your professors, I salute you graduates of 2016, more of the same, more of the same. It is now my pleasure to introduce an outstanding graduate who will present the student challenge, a student who embodies the power of perseverance and hard work. Please join me in welcoming Karishma Lakani. I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm scared. Not only because I'm here standing in front of 2,000 people, but I'm scared on a larger scale. It seems that our land of opportunity is slowly moving towards becoming the land of ignorance. We live in a world filled with skepticism, speculation, reality television, in a world where many base your ability on the way that you look. Politics are complicated, to say the least, and people care more and more about the name on your tag than anything else. But there seems to be one thing that's constant, and that's unifying people all over the world, and it's education. 
Yet I fear that the power and importance of education is diminishing. The power and importance of intellect is disappearing. But not here. Not here at SMC. Not for those of us celebrating education here today. Respected trustees, President Jeffrey, faculty and staff, friends and family, and of course, class of 2016, good evening and welcome to the 2016 commencement. As an Indian Muslim growing up in the United States, I suffered from ignorance. I was ridiculed, I was bullied. Eventually I got tired of people asking me how many times I prayed a day, or why we have a whole month dedicated to just fasting. I, told, I was told that I would never accomplish anything because I'm a Muslim and because I'm a girl. In high school, some of my teachers never bothered to learn my name. I was called Curry, Christmas, and I always got the, oh, you mean like charisma? Karishma, Karishma. It didn't seem hard to me, but I appreciated the creativity. Over time, I learned to block everyone out and just focus on school. Well, I couldn't block everyone out. Having Indian parents, one of their jobs was to make me believe that an A was the only possible grade ever. <laughs> and when I got a B, which trust me, I did, I would have to suffer from their death stare, followed by three moments of excruciatingly painful silence. But despite my grades, they supported me. They motivated me. They're proud that I want to become a physician and they're proud of all the work that I've done while I'm here at school, such as becoming the secretary of SMC's Pre-Health Association, my medical internship with UCLA, and becoming a president's ambassador here on campus. <laughs> I was told that a commencement speech is supposed to offer some sort of encouragement or insight into the future. But the truth is, I can't offer any of that. I can only offer you a challenge. I challenge you, SMC class of 2016, I challenge you to fight against this growing ignorance and violence against diversity in our country. Indeed, you've already stepped up to this challenge. Whether your journey here at SMC was a year, two years, three years or more, it's irrelevant because you're here today. You made it despite what everyone else said. You've already fought your own self-doubt, and you've said no to the naysayers. SMC has taught you like it's taught me to never let the circumstances define you. Use your strength. Use your education to push the obstacles and the ignorance out of your way and become the product of your own dreams. SMC is not only home to the Corsairs, but it's home to the nation's future top doctors, lawyers, teachers, engineers, nurses, musicians, and I can go on and on. We are the ones who can and who will turn around this country and carry on the tradition of education. So I encourage you today to remember that SMC provided you with that step up you needed in fighting against the ignorance in our country. I came to SMC with the dream to one day provide for my family, to be accepted to UCLA, and to one day enroll into medical school. And today, because of the faculty and staff at SMC, such as Deidre Weaver, Dr. Nancy Grass, Anisha Fullard, everyone in the campus and alumni relations office, the financial aid office where I had two jobs, and my president's ambassador family, let me hear ya. <laughs> I've come closer to my goals. There's a chant that we have here on campus called the alumni chant, which you all have heard. It asserts our commitment not just to SMC, but to our belief in the education that SMC has provided us. I would like you all to say it with me here today. When I say proud to be, you say SMC as loud as you can. Proud to be? SMC. Proud to be? SMC. Proud to be? SMC. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2016. Thank you, Karishma Lakani. I can say your name. I'm honored to introduce our commencement speaker, Dr. Timothy Law Snyder, president of Loyola Marymount University. Dr. Snyder began his term as Loyola Marymount University's 16th president on June 1st, 2015. 
He has over four decades of experience as a teacher and a scholar and a deep commitment to Ignatian education grounded in his work at three Jesuit universities before LMU. Among many other accomplishments, Dr. Schneider is a nationally recognized speaker. I lost my place. <laughs> Among many other accomplishments, Dr. Schneider is a nationally recognized speaker on ways to educate the millennial generation. You can find his podcast for students featuring his original music on iTunes. It's worth mentioning that Dr. Snyder was a lead singer in a rock and punk band in the late 70s. That's way cool. He's a very cool university president. Please join me in welcoming President Snyder. Thank you, President Jeffrey. This institution is blessed to have a president of your wisdom, experience, and style. <laughs> president Jeffrey, Interim Executive Vice President Shimusu, trustees, faculty, student support professionals, staff, administrators, families, mothers, fathers, siblings, tias, tios, grandparents, spouses, children, friends of the class of 2016, members of the class of 2016, I too welcome you and thank you for honoring me with the opportunity to speak with you on this glorious occasion. I've learned a bit about Santa Monica College since my arrival in LA last June, and I am inspired by the quality of education, student care, diversity, and opportunity that Santa Monica College has brought to each of you. I admire the quality of the student body, the full-time students who've dedicated their main activity toward their growth, the part-timers who balance the many demands of their lives with their academic pursuits, and the great mix of goals that students have here. We at LMU, as many of you know, have a wonderful symbiotic relationship with SMC. One-fourth of our transfer students are SMC students. We enroll over 100 SMC students at any moment. Our SMC Black Collegians and Adelante students spend 10 days researching every year on LMU's campus, working with our faculty and our staff members and they exemplify ways in which we collaborate and how our work together will continue as our future rolls forward. My goals today are two. One is to congratulate you. Congratulations, class of 2016. One goal down. My second goal is to Teach your last class. <laughs> Educate you a little more if I can. You're at the edge of graduation. And at that moment, we have to take stock of our future, that annoying, unknown future. But it's not quite unknown. We know a few things about our future. We know a few things about ourselves. So let's talk a little bit about both. Let's talk about that future. Times are not just changing, but they are changing more quickly as every frame goes by. Change is accelerating. 11 revolutions of the sun ago, we didn't have a YouTube. 300 hours every minute now. 
of content is uploaded to that. Just five revolutions around the sun ago. Instagram? Hmm, no. What was that? Virtual reality is about to change our visual dimensions from two to three in so many ways. The entirety of display phenomena will change and it will become personally explorable in that extra dimension. And our change is not just technological. Conflicts have morphed from territorial skirmishes to complex conflation and conspiracy of economics, religion, technology, geography, communication, sociology, and so much more. And trust me, as you move on, you're going to see some mammoth changes. When I was in school, I had to speak with my folks by taking bills somewhere and getting changed, standing in line, and then you'd put it in the phone. Now, you just text your parents, or you send them your geolocation, a geolocation pin, and they know exactly where you are at every moment. That's amazing. You poor souls. <laughs> so with certainty, our future will require us to be nimble, to be educated as you are, and not just on the specifics, but you will have to be lifelong nimble learners. And this leads me to my first piece of advice of three I will share with you today. In our swiftly changing world, be a nimble lifelong learner. I could say more about our future, but I'd like to say a few things about the most important piece of our future, and that is you. Most of you, though not all, are from the much chattered about millennial generation, the one that is ever judged, ever unfairly judged, ever met with anecdotal observation by the sages who have preceded you, who have it quite often flat out wrong. Quote, the millennials don't want to have a conversation. All they want to do is spend time with those damned phones. <laughs> By 2020, millennials will, quote, spend most of their time, most of their energy sharing short social messages, being entertained and being distracted away from deep engagement with people and knowledge. They'll lack deep thinking capabilities and face-to-face -face social skills. These sentiments come from a survey of persons currently occupying leadership roles in organizations like Google, Microsoft, Cisco, Yahoo, Yarver, or Harvard, MIT, and Yale. But in fact, a new study from Weber Shandwick and the Institute for Public Relations found that millennials value in-person interactions at work and after hours even more than did and do baby, boober, baby boomers and Gen Xers. Yes, members of SMC's 55 and Older Emeritus College, even more than ye and me. It's a fact. And these facts remind us of another feature of our future. These findings remind us of another feature. The two million years of human evolution that we have in common will continue to drive our basic tendencies no matter what our technology, no matter what our surroundings, and no matter what today's leaders think about you. We, you, will continue to engage one another face to face despite what society now wishes to claim upon you. And our evolution brings us to the heart of what I want to leave you with today. Children today are being raised in ways that are bizarrely disconsonant with our shared evolution, and particularly our human needs 
for creativity and identity. Are millennials pampered, self-obsessed, clueless to the challenges of the real world? No, no, and no, and here's why. I have long contended that your generation's greatest challenge is you've not been in, raised in environments that allow you to rehearse creativity as much as you will need to, practice it, fail at it, learn to succeed at it. I like to say that many modern parents now train their children to accomplish stunningly complex tasks but rarely without a recipe, algorithm, or incrementally succeeding process, process to assist our children. Too many parents obsessively walk their children through the steps of a learning process, often doing all the talking, all the way to college admissions events. And I've seen this, where the parents speak fully on behalf of the prospective students. Parents accompany students to job interviews. I know one who actually, well, I'll spare, you the, I'll spare you the details. We had to get a restraining order on a parent for a student after they had quit their job after being employed. Strange. In short, too many today are raised to jump through hoops and too few are challenged to solve on their own problems that require creative solutions. But meanwhile, let's think about that along with one other ingredient here. Let's together imagine two gardens. Gardens A and B. And let's imagine two people who approach our two gardens. Person one, when approaching the gardens, sees in garden A nothing but a field of beautiful flowers, and sees in garden B nothing but weeds. Person two approaches and sees in garden A nothing but weeds, and in garden B nothing but beautiful flowers. What's happening here? Our scenario reflects well the current state of political discourse in the United States. One is compelled to be either a conservative, a Republican, and believe that 100% of the conservative agenda is spot on, and 100% of the liberal agenda is flat out wrong. Or one must be a liberal, Democrat, and see that the Democratic agenda is fully correct, and the Republican one purely maligned. Is it possible? with the myriad contemporary issues we face that only two alternatives exist? Well, last I checked, and the math majors are going to agree, a set of 20 yay-nay issues yields over a million possible platforms, not just two. At Loyola Marymount University, we believe as part of our Catholic heritage that all persons are born persons of dignity persons born in the image of God. Now, no matter what your religious beliefs, I'm sure you will agree that those who live in the world of our two gardens and drink in every tenet of one script and deny every facet of the other have stripped themselves of their own dignity, their very identity. And that leads me to my second piece of advice. When you approach the world's two gardens, the world's many gardens, create your own bouquet. Create a bouquet consistent with your identity. 
distinct to yourself. Now, amidst this two-garden world, your generation has clearly identified a strength yet to be fully recognized or used by our human culture, and that is the value of difference. Diversity. You recognize that minds different, backgrounds, ancestries diverse, can create in ways unlike what any of us as individuals or like-minded identities can create. You recognize the value of diversity in solving world challenges, people challenges, mental challenges, environmental challenges. And that's what tends to upset our youth today the most in a world in which so many have been raised with recipes that can restrict creativity, and in a world in which we are showered with examples of people, leaders, even parents, who follow exclusively a slate created by others, nobody should be surprised when students rebel on behalf of black lives, immigrants, jobs or advocacy for diversity in a search for creative solutions to today's challenges. And with this in mind, I'm led to my third piece of advice, and that's a simple don't go it alone. So many of our younger generation in disappointment, if not disgust, have levied demands upon their leaders with no zeal for compromise or discussion. I ask that you utilize that human desire to meet face to face, no matter how challenging, formally, and this is piece of advice number three, embrace encounter. Recognize and help others understand that the very nature of diversity demands encounter demands collaboration, demands understanding, demands almost always compromise. Help others see that in the same way that advocates do not issue ultimatums to one another when forming their agenda for action, the outcome agenda must be a plan for encounter that emulates the creation of that agenda, that collaboration. Do as our LMU students did this year on two occasions. Rather than issue demands, issue goals, joint goals that allow for us to have collaborative solutions. I want you to know that amidst my open expressions of what I see in our generational cultures, I am a most expressive champion of you and your future. You have seen things and experienced things that no human beings have ever experienced. You have expressed earlier in your lives more than has been expressed personally, politically, proactively, and in some cases professionally than has been expressed in human history. Because of you, students, I am bullish on our future. Every waking day, working with students, as, are the, as is the case, I think, with the faculty here at SMC, I witness persons determined and equipped to help the world become a better place for those here, for those to come, and for the Earth itself. So let me summarize my my three pieces of advice. Number one, in our swiftly changing world, be a nimble, lifelong learner. Two, when you approach the world's gardens, create your own bouquet. And three, embrace encounter. Every evening when I retire, I ask, has the world become a better place by my having been here since my head last separated from this pillow. 
my hopes and prayers for you on this day of glory is that you will ask this question and that the answer from you and from your community going forward is a loud, glowing, affirming yes. God bless each of you. And I cannot say with enough joy for you and our world, congratulations. Enjoy. Dr. Schneider, if you would please come forward, we'd like to present you with something. Karishma Lakani has something <laughs> for you on behalf of the class of 2016 in appreciation. This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. This is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again, Dr. Schneider. Your words of wisdom are perfect for our students and give them uh, a lot to think about, and us as well. It's my pleasure to introduce Teresita Rodriguez, our Vice President of Enrollment Development, who has some special announcements. Teresita. Thank you, Dr. Jeffrey. I want to make some brief announcements about our graduates. This year marks our largest graduating class in SMC history. 4,247 students are receiving 5,197 degrees and certificates of achievement. 950 of you are receiving two degrees. You will notice that many of our graduates are wearing a stole a sash or a cord. Students wearing a light blue sash are graduating with honors with a GPA of 3.0 to 3.6. A student wearing a silver sash is graduating with high honors with a GPA of 3.7 to 3.9. A student wearing a gold sash is graduating with highest honors with a 4.0 GPA. A student wearing a white robe is graduating with a nursing degree. A student wearing a blue stole served as a president's ambassador. A student wearing a gold cord and a gold honor sash is a member of Alpha Gamma Sigma Honor Society. A student wearing a gold cord and gold and blue sash is a member of Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society. A student wearing a stole lined in the kinte cloth is a participant of the Black Collegians program. A student wearing the colorful Latino stole is a participant of the Adelante program. A student wearing a red stole is a participant of the EOPS care program. A student wearing a purple sash with blue trim and gold lettering is a participant of the Guardian Scholars Program. And lastly, a student wearing a stole with the Associated Students logo held a leadership role in student government. 
As we prepare to call the students to the stage to be recognized so that we don't detract from the occasion, we ask that you do not use air horns. I heard some of you up here. Also, please do not photograph the graduates from the field. There is a designated photography area in the center of the bleachers. A professional photographer will photograph each graduate as he or she accepts their diploma cover, and graduates have been informed on how to order those photographs. There are also professional photographers available after the ceremony on the field to take pictures of family, uh, to take family photos, which can also then be ordered. We ask that all guests remain in their seats until all graduates have been announced and the recessional has exited the stadium. Immediately following the ceremony, all graduates and guests are invited to join us for refreshments at the alumni reception in the quad. Please exit through the north gate and proceed east towards the quad. Our special thanks to the SMC Foundation and the SMC Alumni Association for sponsoring the reception. Graduates, congratulations. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you, Vice President Rodriguez. I now recognize the Honorable Louise Jaffe, Chair of the Santa Monica College Board of Trustees for the formal conferring of degrees. Okay, graduates, will the graduates please stand? <laughs> President Jeffrey, on behalf of the faculty, will you certify to the trustees of the Santa Monica Community College District that each of these candidates has fulfilled all the requirements of the college and is worthy of the associate degree or certificate of achievement? <laughs> Chair Jaffe, I do so certify. Okay, please be seated for a little more instruction and then we'll go. <laughs> no, no, just for a minute. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. The names of the graduates will be read by faculty members Laurie Guglielmo. Laurie? How do you say your last name, Laurie? I want to get it right. Guglielmo, okay, thank you. Jenny Merlick, Greg Brookins, and Nate Donahue. Marshals, please direct the graduates to the presentation of diplomas. And trustees, I invite you to take turns congratulating the graduates as they come forward. <laughs> graduates, please rise. <laughs> Members of the Santa Monica College graduating class, prepare to come forward.
It is our honor and pleasure to call forward the graduating students of the class of 2016. I'm going to start with Krishma Lokani, Associate Degree in Behavioral and Social Sciences and General Sciences. Marilyn Cruz, Early Childhood Education. Giovanni Ramirez, Political Science, Honors. Sean Tal Carrere, Cosmetology. Nicholas Geiger, General Science, High Honors. Deborah Lynn Gunn, Early Childhood Education. Tessa Lynn Casillas, Liberal Arts, Honors. Mojan Garamani, Business Administration. Samantha Ramirez Aradon, Liberal Arts, Honors. Jessica Kunza, Accounting. Christina Marie Armstrong, General Science. Sonia Beatriz Bermudez, Computer Business Applications Office Assistant. Hunter Jade Peoples, General Science. Alejandro Bermudez, Technical Theater, Theater Arts. Debbie Fernanda Sulca, General Science, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Jennifer Marie Ailey, Technical Theater. Ashley Aguirre, Political Science, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Elizabeth Ann Pearson, Women's Studies. Carlos Manuel Calderon, Liberal Arts, Business Administration. Charlotta Sandberg, Art. Brenda Martinez, Liberal Arts. Eric Anthony Sanchez, Animation. Christy Midori Yamahiro, Liberal Arts, Political Science. Nikolai Barron, Business Administration Professional. Lillian Elizabeth Madrano, Psychology. <laughs> Kelly Ann Thompson, Film Production, Honors. Myra Mungia, Accounting, Business Management Leadership, Business Administration Professional. Rochen Lian, Communication Studies, Honors. Vivian Lee, Liberal Arts, High Honors. <laughs> Haywen Deng, Communication Studies, Honors. Lin Nak Miwen, Business Administration, High Honors. Yeying Sen, Liberal Arts, Honors. John Anderson, Animation, Honors. Daniel Patrick Ellis, Liberal Arts, Highest Honors. Dasul Choi, Theater Arts, Honors. Nathan Strong, Communication Studies. Amory Holbert, General Science, I get to General Education, High Honors. Veronica Monique Bermudez, communica Communication Studies, Honors. Kisori Athrea, Liberal Arts, Honors. Natsumi Takeda, Fashion Merchandising, Honors. Edgar Morales Mendez, Business Administration, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Yunfa Cho, Communication Studies. Martha Rose Linden, Liberal Arts, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Indira Semra Sekra. Early Childhood Education Honors. Vanessa I. Loving, Liberal Arts. Ho Chun Wong, Liberal Arts Honors. Jessica Ann Gulardo Guerrero, General Science Honors. Carl Michael Norton, Business Management Leadership Marketing Honors. Alexis Carolyn Miles, Communication Studies Honors. Antonia Frederike Vitterstrahl, Business, Man Business Management Leadership Marketing Honors. Dilek Erdogan, Liberal Arts General Science. Maya Erika Tana, Business Administration Professional High Honors. 
Anthony Armando Santiago, Liberal Arts. Ana Extrand, Business Administration, Professional Honors. Soma Ramrata, Business Administration, Professional Honors. Marcus Forcell, Kinesiology, Physical Education, High Honors. Hisaki Nakasuka, Communication Studies. Ariel Anna Gusens, Business Administration Professional, Honors. Amos Hirsch, General Science, Kinesiology, Physical Education, Honors. Karim Rabudi, Business Administration Professional. Carlos Ivan Castro, Liberal Arts. Bilal Trabelsi, General Science. Yurosa Libatik, Liberal Arts. Chazé Simone Williams, Technical Theater. Nicole Marie Rampola, Liberal Arts. Andrea Sommer, Business Management Leadership, Honors. Fredris Ernesto Bonilla Monge, Theater Arts, Honors. Jessica Frida Landon, Business Management Leadership, Entrepreneurship. Henrik Orlando Rivera, Theater Arts Honors. Magali Salas, Spanish. Romina Nali, General Science, Theater Arts Honors. Miku Asayama, Fashion Merchandising Honors. Shangul Garel, Animation. Kiona Takeda, Liberal Arts, High Honors. Jacqueline Marie Pearson, Graphic Design Honors. Tamaki Kawamura, Entertainment Promotion Marketing Production, High Honors. Soledad Sanchez, Igetsi General Education. Renee Martinez, Business Administration, CSU General Education, Honors. Idania Esther Zelaya, Early Childhood Education, Honors. Tanya Trinidad, Liberal Arts. Ariana Maria Nolasco, Liberal Arts. Helen John Stutter, Liberal Arts, Honors. Latricia M. Brooks, Early Childhood Education, Career. Alexandra Trigva Daughter, Communication Studies, High Honors. Samuel Lewis Colco, Liberal Arts. Joanna Denise Molina, General Science. Melissa Colco, Liberal Arts, Honors. Woo! Nicholas Tuso, Animation, Honors. Arthur Iliash, Respiratory Therapy, Honors. Bradley Christopher Fred Freericks, Liberal Arts, High Honors. Lindsay Ariza, Business Administration. Fermin Kayamora, Liberal Arts. <laughs> Luis Enrique Cruz Govin, Business Administration Professional. Kiana Gardner, Sociology, Honors. Gerardo Castillo, Liberal Arts. Summer Ashley Dalton, Liberal Arts, Communication Studies, Honors. Paul Yamas, Liberal Arts, Arts and Humanities, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences, Phi Theta Kappa. Asia Marie Jimerson, Business Management Leadership, Communication Studies. Jade Marissa Siri Sampan, Athletic Coaching. Yvonne Ruiz, Political Science. Nareda Contreras, Liberal Arts Honors. Constantine Kirstup, Fine Art Major, Honors. Bianca Elizabeth Birchall, Political Science. Michael Bardales Urios Tugay, Art. Henry Santiago, General Science, Business Administration Professional, Honors. Vanessa Yu, Art, Honors. Sean Jordan Silverstein, Liberal Arts, Political Science, Honors. Hamid Raz, Art, 
honors. Zdrojewski, Business Administration, honors. Frida Davidson, Art, honors. Wendy Marie Cruz Hernandez, Liberal Arts. Cabo Tang, Computer Programming, High Honors. Roberto Juan Ruiz, Liberal Arts, Honors. Ji Ho Lee, Computer Programming. Christopher Aaron Houston, Communication Studies. Joshua Ariel, General Science, Highest Honors. Edith Ortega, Liberal Arts. <laughs> Maria Guadalupe Perez, Liberal Arts. Roland Michaela, Business Administration. Liliana Mejia, Liberal Arts, Honors. Joey Rarick, Communication Studies, Honors. Abigail Skelly, General Science, History, Honors. Brooke Lavere, Communication Studies, High Honors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Olivia Margaret North, Liberal Arts, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Krishan Phillips, Interior Architectural Design, Honors. <laughs> Kathar Zaki Muhammad Ali, Accounting, Professional Accountant, Honors. Woo. Jasmine Aguar. Geography Honors. Matthew Moktarzadeh, Liberal Arts, High Honors. Sharon Rodriguez, Early Childhood Education, Honors. Brittany Samani, Communication Studies, High Honors. <laughs> Elton Augustus Ryan, Social and Behavioral Science and Liberal Arts. Angelou Dimson, Business Administration, I guess he General Education. Yeah. Wendy Isabel Santiago, General Science, Honors. Janina Dimson Vito, Computer Programming. Jaime Jaime, General Science, Honors. Shane Dooley, Liberal Arts. Leslie Flores, General Science. Joani Perez, Liberal Arts, General Science. <laughs> Teresa Ramirez, Liberal Arts, General Science. Eric Kelvin Rodriguez, Liberal Arts, Honors. Sergey Kotrpa, Computer Science, Computer Programming, High Honors. Rosa Karina Fuentes, Liberal Arts. Emily Ann Markoff, Liberal Arts. <laughs> Paulette Naomi Gomez, Liberal Arts, Honors. Karen Ibarra, Business Administration. <laughs> Zarit Escalante Cruz, Liberal Arts. Tamani Lise Karim, Business Administration. Diana Araceli Vasquez, Communication Studies. Alexander David Friedman, Liberal Arts, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa Cross Country Team. <laughs> Sasha Zohuri, Liberal Arts, Honors. Michael Rashad Bilbo, Liberal Arts. Jacqueline Sigala, General Science. Crystal Angel Ray Castro, Early Childhood Education. Giorgio Kajwagian, Liberal Arts, High Honors. Babak Davudi, Animation. Ilsa Michelle Alvarez, Early Childhood Education Career. Carlos Jeremias Melendez, Liberal Arts. Esmeralda Nava, Early Childhood Education, Honors. Sam J, General Science, Honors. Lauren Vantine Hollenstein, Environmental Studies, Honors. Su Yoon Kim, Liberal Arts, Political Science, Honors. Maritza Elizabeth Andrade, Entrepreneurship. Maria Socorro Alva, General Science, Honors. Alexandra Ilch, Business Administration, High Honors. McGeorge Demarius, Jr., Medical Coding Billing Specialist, Medical Administrative Assistant. Miriam Buzwita, Marketing. 
Joseph Stroll, General Science, Honors, Alpha Gamma Sigma. Salvador Navarrete, Jr., General Science, Honors. Kimberly Zarate, Art, Honors. Jose Sanchez, Business Administration, Honors. Maribel Diaz, Art Studio Arts, Honors. Phi Theta Kappa, Alpha Gamma Sigma. Jeremy Ramon Williams, Accounting, Business Administration. Ileana Margarita Hudson, Business Administration, Professional General Science, Accounting, Honors. Anna Ramirez, Liberal Arts. Ricky Amador, Art, High Honors. Disa Elvira Gran, Film Production Honors. Ruby Resendez, General Science. Johan Olson, Business Administration Professional, Honors. Kimberly Machico, Cocado, General Science Mathematics. Jenny? Tap Tim Bejadal. Broadcast Sales Management, Broadcast Programming and Production, Liberal Arts Honors. Lourdes Vanessa Notario Corral, Liberal Arts, Igetsi General Education Honors. Jeanette Mary Lynn Contreras, Business Administration Professional. Brian Anthony Ramos, Communication Studies Honors. Juan Carlos Coseda, Liberal Arts, Social Behavioral Science. Kimberly Michelle Cordova, Communication Studies and Liberal Arts. Okay. Whitney Guevara, Liberal Arts. Leslie Rosario Juarez, Political Science, Faith Ata Kappa. Josue Stefan Alvarez, Early Childhood Education. Walter Ramirez, Political Science, Honors. Emily Rondriar Novino, Film Studies, High Honors. Daisy Isabel Ariano, Public Policy. Yusra Hamid Khan, Business, Honors, President's Ambassador. Aranza Delgado, Business Administration. Soila Campos, Liberal Arts. Aitana Cristina Balam, Liberal Arts, Honors. Daniela Babylonia Barjana, Journalism, Liberal Arts, Honors. Suzette Hernandez, Business Administration. <laughs> Yuho Alvar Markanen, Business Administration, I guess he general ed, High Honors. Danielle Rose Morris, Business Administration, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Robel Zarai Brook, General Science, Kinesiology, Physical Education, Honors. Francesca O'Keefe, Political Science. <laughs> Kevin Goros Dieta, General Science, Kinesiology, Physical Education, CSU General Ed. Cho Lwin, Business Administration, Honors. Kelvin Monroy, Liberal Arts, History, Honors. Farhana Bolat, Business Administration, Honors. Jasmine Leticia Negrete, Liberal Arts, General Science. Taylor Ann Kang, Liberal Arts, Highest Honors. Debbie Angeline Flores, Liberal Arts. Agelina Vinogradova, Business Administration, Professional Honors. Araceli Vasquez, Early Childhood Education. Jonathan Gerardo Rosales, Liberal Arts. Jessica Antunes, Liberal Arts, Honors. Julio Velasquez, Liberal Arts. Linda Hernandez, Early Childhood Education. Imani Renee Tatum, Liberal Arts Honors. Rebecca Jimenez, Early Childhood Education, Honors. Marisol Sanchez, General Science, Honors Phi Theta Kappa. Scott Anthony Glody, Communication Studies. 
Miriam Dyshevsky, Communication Studies, High Honors. Yanni Yvette Velasco, General Science, Honors. Jade Larios, Communication Studies, Honors. Trixie Selena Para, Liberal Arts with Honors. Rong Jion, Business Administration, Honors. Tania Torres, Kinesiology, Physical Education, General Science, Rohan with Honors. Rohan Biora, Liberal Arts, Behavioral Sciences. Rosalba Lopez Galindo, Liberal Arts. Haiti Gajefa, Liberal Arts. Valerie Martin, General Science. Katrina Mayfield, Liberal Arts. Denzel Xavier Watson, Liberal Arts. Tara O'Callaghan, Business Management, Leadership, Business Administration, Honors. Gustavo Garcia Benitez, Liberal Arts. Harsh Raj Singh, Gohi, Film Studies. Richard Cuevas, Business Administration with Honors. Kais Kamam, Film Studies, Honors. Yuya Wasada, Liberal Arts. Marwa Babora, Liberal Arts, Film Production, High Honors. Risa Witaki, Liberal Arts with Honors. Tatiana Ramirez, Film Studies, Film Production, Honors. Yuka Naiki, Theater Arts. Ali Khan Jarugafov, Business Management. Saori Wada, Liberal Arts with Honors. Fawaz Muhammad, General Science. Jimin Shen, Graphic Design. Maria Cordova, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Daniel Zarate Jr., Business Administration with Honors. Malvina Eva Brown, Registered Nursing, High Honors. Janelle Mamanova, Business Administration, Professional with Honors. Siobhan Stovska, Registered Nursing, Honors. James Christopher Powell, Journalism with Honors and the Corsair. Amy Chavez, Registered Nursing, Honors. Bailey Parida, Journalism with Honors and the Corsair. Olga Statnik, Registered Nursing, High Honors. Henry Franklin Crumblish, Journalism with Honors. Clay Valerie Ragual, Registered Nursing, Honors. Junjae Wong, Business Administration Professional. Catherine Kane, Registered Nursing, Honors. Wang Tippa, Wang Zerbracht, Liberal Arts, High Honors, Thai Beta Kappa. Marie Perashu, Business Administration Professional. Caesar Cruz, Liberal Arts Communication Studies with High Honors. Philippine Carolou, Business Administration Professional. Marco Antonio Enriquez Jr., Liberal Arts History with High Honors and a President's Ambassador. Jessica Ramon, Liberal Arts History, Honors. Joshua Lewis Nickel, Business Management Leadership. Brenda Lopez Cortez, Cosmetology, Honors. Rahat Mahmood, I Get See General Education. Ulala Omatea, Cosmetology. Silvestra Barraza, Liberal Arts with Honors. Michelle Sapio, I get see general education. Rigoberto Quintana, Liberal Arts. Alexandra Selena Moreno, Liberal Arts, General Science, Honors. Karel Pusota, Business Administration with High Honors. Jessica Victoria Jacobson, Business Administration, High Honors. Stephanie Lizette Trujillo, Early Childhood Education with Honors. Johanna Christina Lienholt, Business Administration, High Honors. 
Stephanie Sanchez, General Science, Phi Theta Kappa. Karina Melo, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Laverne R. Johnson, Public Policy. Andrea De Urioste, Liberal Arts Honors. Jessica Michelle Garcia, Liberal Arts with Honors. Tyler Cook, Film Production. St. Diego, Business Merchandising, Merchandising. Takashi Yoshida, Film Studies, Honors. Morio Torres, <laughs> Business Administration. Jonah Martin Atkins, Broadcast Programming and Production. Chanel Scott, Liberal Arts. Michelle Luisa Morataya, Communication Studies. Ruchi Trani, Rumashika Haupuarachi, General Science with Honors and a President's Ambassador. Lenore Herrera, Liberal Arts, General Science. Itzel Aime De La Torre, Liberal Arts with Honors and a President's Ambassador. Wang Chin Zhou, Business Administration, General Science. Maggie Kalambo Lumu, Political Science with Honors and a President's Ambassador. Sin Yuen Shou, General Science, CSU Education, I get the General Education Honors. Denise Yvette Sandoval, General Science and a President's Ambassador. Ryosheke Onyeshi, Business Administration, High Honors. Joel Goldzer, Communications and a President's Ambassador. Juta Bakuya, Economics, High Honors. Jocelyn Stephanie Ramirez, Liberal Arts. Shane Lee, Music, High Honors. Kalong Lum, Journalism with Honors. Jung In Song, Art, High Honors. Vivian Lau, Linguistics. Matthew King, Business Administration, Honors. Yuri Ono, Fashion Merchandising with Honors. Laura Rim A. Kaite, Liberal Arts. Sarah Habib, Liberal Arts with Honors. Raisu Hawk, Liberal Arts. Cecilia Lopez, Business Administration's Professional with Honors. Ruslan Beloso, Communication Studies, Political Science. Jorge Gonzalez, Liberal Arts. Shiharu Hayakawa, Liberal Arts, High, high Honors. Joshua Jesse Williams, Liberal Arts. Farhad Khorasani, Business Administration, Professional Honors. Fernando Adan Moreno, Accounting. Josephine Harklin, Music, High Honors. Dennis Amilcar Hernandez, Business Administration with Honors. Tanya Lowe's Business Management Leadership. Rayford Brown, Solar Photovoltaic Installation. Jenny Johannesson, Business Administration, Logistics, Business Management, Leadership, Entrepreneurship, Honors. Chase Joseph Maser, Liberal Arts with Honors. Susanna Marie Wallen, Business Management, Leadership, Honors. Amanda Raylene Ortiz, Liberal Arts. William Chen, Solar Vol Photovoltaic Installation, Kinesiology, Physical Education. Juanita Wright, General Science. Maria Santiso Agetzi. Helen Egdami, General Science with the highest honors. Courtney Nicole Brown, Business Administration, Professional Honor. Ana Costas, Business Administration. O'Shea Irvin, Business Administration Honor. Umina Suleiman Drame, Liberal Arts with Honors. 
Mackenzie Connie Sanchez, Business Administration and Accounting. Ansley Meredith Holly, Liberal Arts with High Honors and Phi Theta Kappa. Jean Paul Caleb Sanders, Saunders, Business Administration Honors. Lorena Curiel, History with High Honors and Adelante. Camila Poblete Gomez, Liberal Arts, Honor. Nurshel Brinson, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavior Science, and Film Studies. Luis David Cruz, Business Administration, Honor. Mildred Rivera, Art with Honors and Phi Beta Kappa. Ara Marina Portales, Liberal Arts. Amen Butter, General Science with Honors. Giovanni Corona Hernandez, Business Administration Honors. Hiba Lashkar, Social and Behavioral Science. Ana Erica Rivera, Liberal Arts Honors. Reem Layuni, Business Administration, International Business, CSU, General Education. Arya Sharifan, Business Administration. Karina Ageyeva, Liberal Arts, General Science with Honors. Inger Helen Fornos, Liberal Arts. Weston Schuyler Adkins, Business Administration, Professional and Men's Soccer. Carlos Francisco Trejo, History. JJ Castillo, Men's Soccer and Student Athlete of the Year. <laughs> Jennifer Johanna Barahona, Liberal Arts Honors. Cameron Chambers, Liberal Arts, it says here, future football star. <laughs> Denisha Janae Hill, General Science Honor. Anthony Christian Spinner, Liberal Arts, part of our 2015 undefeated football team. Caitlin Marie Hayes, Liberal Arts Honor. Terry Darnell Jackson Jr., Liberal Arts, also a member of our undefeated football team. Lawrence Devon Atmore III, Liberal Arts Honor. Herman Charles Wilson, Liberal Arts, 2015 football champion. Dijanae Mon Monique Brown, Liberal Arts. Kayvon Bardia Aminsade, football, 2015. Myrna Vanessa Benavides, Trey, political science. Trey Francis Smith, Bin Business Administration, I get see general education, with honors. Mabel Gayum, Liberal Arts, General Science Honors. David Vernon Price Jr., Liberal Arts. Ari Morell, Liberal Arts Honors. Marquise Cordale Lomax, Liberal Arts football team. Saida Karina Rodriguez, General Science Honors. Chishwan Tai, Film Studies with Honors. Thea Asatiani, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science, Highest Honors. Kento Matsunami, Theater Arts with Honors. Violetta Bartel, Business Administration. <laughs> Yesenia Abanova, Theater Arts with Honors. Michael Jurgis, Liberal Arts, I Get See General Education Honors. Lucy Palka, Communication Studies. Irma Hernandez, Accounting Business Administration. Georgina Miranda Gomez, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Isis Rivera, Business Administration Professional. Misha Johansson, Film Studies with Honors. Allison J. Ortiz, Liberal Arts. Diana Diego, Liberal Arts. Karen Abigail Morales, Political Science, I get see general education. Ioana Costopoulou, Theater Arts, Communication Studies with the highest honors, 
and Phi Theta Kappa. Bethlehem Hailu, Liberal Arts, General Science. Camilla Wixell, Interior Architectural Design with Honors. Sharin Kashiari Jam, Computer Business Applications, Honor. Antonio Tony Craver, Liberal Arts. Aurea Silva, Liberal Arts. Sarah Jean Pierce, Liberal Arts, Art History with High Honors. Anna Massetti, Graphic Design Honors. Tony Tijo, Business Administration with Honors. Anna Intoriano, Graphic Design, High Honors. Nancy A. Marcial Fabian, Liberal Arts, General Education, General Science. Jacqueline Guadalupe Casillas, Liberal Arts, Honors. Nikel Birdsong, Liberal Arts. Denise Jaime Herrera, Liberal Arts. Carla Beatriz Hernandez Figuera, Business Administration, Professional Accounting with Honors. Abril Arayani, Beverly Ann Kester. Abril Arayani Menendez, Recycling and Resource Management, Honors. Beverly Ann Kester, Liberal Arts. Malika Latunji, General Science. Leah Rose Tillman, Liberal Arts with Honors. Kim Cecilia Turnblum, Theater Arts. Jennifer Ramirez, Liberal Arts, General Science with Honors. Margaret Kim, Liberal Arts. Wendy Darlene Alvarez, Liberal Arts with Honors. Allison Marie Doolittle, Liberal Arts, General Science Honors. Jacqueline Marlene Prado, Liberal Arts. Bushka, Roxanne Dowdy, Entertainment Promotion, Marketing Production. Martin Tyrese Perry, Liberal Arts, SMC Football Team. Monet Danielle Brown, History. Miguel Ramirez, Liberal Arts, Political Science with Honors. David Santana, Behavioral and Social Science. Aaron Bautista, Business Administration, Business Management and Leadership, CSU General Education, Phi Theta Kappa, and High Honors. Edwin Monroy, General Science. Nestor Camacho, Liberal Arts, Behavioral and Social Sciences. Edward Finley Stewart, Liberal Arts. Jasmine Numi Roca, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Alexander Bouquet, Business Administration Professional, High Honors. Jessica Rose Vasquez, Broadcast Programming and Production. William Wesley Wagnon, Communication Science, CSU, General Education, and Great Dancer. Wan Lu Tong, General Science with Honors. Hector Santiago Chavarria, Business Administration. <laughs> Ming Shi Zheng, General Science with High Honors. David Israel, Business Administration. <laughs> Yi Li Chen, General Science with Honors. Holly Sparks, Global Study. Justin Dwight Weatherford, Communication Studies. Holly Payman, Liberal Arts Honors. Stevana Chiara Lathan, Liberal Arts. Ivania Perez Swam, Recycling and Resource Management. Yadinar U, Accounting with the Highest Honors. Ariana Linares, Art. Kelly Suri Lee, Cosmetology. Ana Gloria Hernandez, Liberal Arts Honors. Asia Yvonne Craig, Liberal Arts. Ria Janelle Feliciano, Liberal Arts, General Science, High Honor. Victoria Vergara, Accounting, Business Administration. John Lansangan, Liberal Arts, General Science. 
Lucrezia Sebastian, Kinesiology, Physical Education with Honors. Emily Karen Beneta, Business Administration Honor. Oscar Sebastian, Liberal Arts, Art. Uzane Nuoko, General Science, Honor. Luis Garcia Umania, Computer Business Applications. Hosna Sia Kamari, Liberal Arts, Honors. Dana Melissa Garcia, Liberal Arts, General Science. Masa Pache, General Science, Honors. Cesar Rodriguez Gill, General Science. Parisa Coram, General Science, High Honor. Manuel Ramon Beltran, Recycling and Research Management. Salah Tabesh, General Science, Mathematic, Honors. Ashley Masako Maeda, Accounting with High Honors. Sarah Kohandani, General Science, Highest Honor. Belzebeth Rincon, General Science. Melody Beral, General Science, Highest Honor. Shante L. Walker, Liberal Arts with Honors Alpha Gamma Sigma. Sharona Hatanyan, General Science, Honors. Dalia Soto Beltran, Liberal Arts with High Honors. Jonathan Hatanyan, Liberal Arts, General Science, Honors. Flavio Filho, Liberal Arts, Political Science with High Honors. Mark Cortez, Business Administration. Nicholas Escobar, Global Studies with Honors, Alpha Gamma Sigma and Phi Theta Kappa. Ediberto Soto, Business Administration. Honors. honors. Maya Narumi, Liberal Arts with High Honors. Maritza Jeanette Alas, Liberal Arts. Lauren Elizabeth Voyers, Liberal Arts with High Honors. Maya Simic, Business Administration. Christina Evangelina Villalobos, General Science with Honors. Masa Parvane, Art, Honors. Leslie Lopez, Liberal Arts. Jessica Lynn Osterberg, General Science Honors. Jessica Alvilar, Early Childhood Education with Honors. Maxwell Jerome, Liberal Arts Film Studies Honors. Nicole Page Cohen, Communication Studies. Arla Dabahun, Liberal Arts Honors. Connie Antonia Hernandez, so Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Chrisana Cherry, History, Honors. Kimberly Lizette Diaz, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Anna Galan, General Science, High Honors. Maritisa Olmos, Dance with, high, uh, with, uh, with Honors. Lisa Galan, Liberal Arts, Honors. Yu Sujisaka, Dance with Honors. Simon Tala Tozan, General Science, High Honor. Jamara Antoinette Robinson, Dance. Jonathan Saur, Business Administration, High Honor. <laughs> Natalie Esperanza Cruz, Dance with, high, with Honors. Ryan Fuladion, History. High honors. Alyssa Davis, Early Childhood Education. Ariela Menzade, Liberal Arts History Honors. Elif Ozdogan, General Science with Honors. Helen Vlad, Accounting. Amanda Felicia Davidson, Film Studies with Honors. Catherine Vanessa Mariquin, Liberal Arts. Emily Aquino, Liberal Arts. Daniela Hanali Macias, Liberal Arts, General Science. Javar Brown Scott, 
Business Administration with honors. Jonathan Flynn Sanders, Public Policy High Honor. Christian Anaya Yamas, Political Science, Public Policy with honors. Lena Irene Hillenstrom, Liberal Arts Highest Honors. Amanda Almeida, Film Studies. Latian Wang, Social and Behavioral Science, Arts and Humanities, Political Science, I get the General Education, High Honor. Angelica Jimenez, General Science. Rima Sarun, Miyagi Aja, Graphic Science, Graphic Design. Christy Chung Se Tien, Kinesiology, Physical Education with Honors. Carmen Noemi Huerta, Early Childhood Education. Erica Ortega, Business Administration, CSU, General Education. Miguel Gamboa, Public Policy, Political Science, Phi Theta Kappa. Beatriz Guerrero, Liberal Arts. Victoria Eloisa Castillo, Art, Honors. Jocelyn Yasmin Rivas, Art, Phi Theta Kappa. Josue Francisco Antonio, General Science. Shenjia Li, Liberal Arts, Fashion Merchandising, High Honors. Michael Ford Preston, Interior, Interior Architectural Design, Honors. Marika Sakamoto, Fashion Merchandising. Camilla Ingrid Hasvik, Interior Architectural Design. Brittany Nicole Mackey, Fashion Merchandising. Kotar Talibi, Liberal Arts. Brenda Yi, Fashion Design, Fashion Merchandising. Jennifer Manzano, Early Childhood Education. Brianna Michelle Orellana, Fashion Merchandising. Sik Lali Espinosa, Liberal Arts, Communication Studies. Carolyn Trin, Fashion Merchandising, Fashion Design. Samuel Zachary Hirsch, Environmental Science, High Honors. Maricela Resendez, Fashion Design. Emilia Alieva, Liberal Arts, Honors. Alicia Maria Hicks, Fashion Design. Tony Ashley Bustamante, Fashion Merchandising. Sarah Hinshaw, Business Administration, Business Management. Gerald Raymond Perlis, Communication Studies. Pelin Ozan, Fashion Merchandising with Honors. Byron Aparicio. General Science. Melina Gwelli, Journalism. Glenn Booker, Public Policy, Phi Theta Kappa. Precious Anoha, Liberal Arts, Political Science with Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Devin Matthew Page, Journalism. Shanice Joyner, Liberal Arts. Joy Danielle Reese Salisbury, Studio Arts. Angelique Reed, Liberal Arts, General Science, Communication Studies. Yasha Hawkins, Journalism, Honors. Ashley Kimberlina Erickson, Art History with Honors. Stephanie Sabata, Political Science, Honors. Diana Zoom, Respiratory Therapy. Bianca Castillo, Liberal Arts, Public Policy, CSU, General Education, Honors. Priscilla Tatian Cajas, Liberal Arts, Social and Behavioral Science, CSU, General Education, with Honors. Tiffany J. Ponza, Liberal Arts, CSU, General Education, Honors. Cecilia Placido Mejia, Early Childhood Education. Katie Sotelo. Liberal Arts, Global Studies, Women's Volleyball. Biljana Milasin, Early Childhood Education Career. Luis Machado, Communication Studies, Honor. 
Dynasty Eugene, Liberal Arts. Heather Howard, Early Childhood Education, Honors. Nahomi Maryland, Liberal Arts, Broadcast Programming and Production with Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Monica Rose Karras, Early Childhood Education, Highest Honors. Owen Fitzgerald Francis, Photography. Jasmine Adjanassian, Early Childhood Education, Career, Honors. Angelou Debedou, Business Administration with Honors. Mehdi Tetambou, Liberal Arts, Business Administration, Honors. Federico Allen Brooks, Liberal Arts, I Get See General Education, High Honors. Natalie Sandin, Art, High Honors. Darian Pratama, Liberal Arts, General Science, with Honors. Dominique Hunter Salustio, Early Childhood Education, Career. Danny Garcia Salinas, Liberal Arts. Dylan Ralph Baston, Computer Programming. Chester Inser, Graphic Design, History. Jessica Teresa McNeary, Communication Studies, Honors. Nicole Amanda Lettner, Recycling and Resource Management, Public Policy, with Honors. Rika Joy Montero, General Science, Honors, Alpha Gamma Sigma. Susanna Grande, Communication Studies yeah. with Honors. Oh. Aina Michaela Santos Asper, General Science, CSU Education, High Honors, Alpha Gamma Sigma. Nicole Elena Sign, Liberal Arts. Maria Kimberly Ann Villar Poquist, Liberal Arts, General Science, Honors, Alpha Gamma Sigma. Brian Bunak, Website Software Specialist. Ernesto Ramos, Film Studies, Honors. Jonathan Valiente, Business Administration. Alan Matthew Ruiz, Film Studies. Glenn Feisa, General Science. Kenya Jimenez, Liberal Arts, Honors. Anna Fogerstrom, Business Merchandising, Marketing with Honors. Heidi Cassandra Tovar, Liberal Arts, General Science. Natalie Rita Fritzo, Business Management Leadership, Entrepreneurship with Honors. Wendy Serna, Liberal Arts Honors. Amber Lynn Winter, Liberal Arts General Science with Honors, AGS, and the AS Student Government. Philip Umberto Wuschwager, General Science Honors. Alexandra Breschensbauer, Communication Studies, Liberal Arts with High Honors, AGS, and the Associated Student Government. Irena Semenova, Liberal Arts Honors. Marie Jennifer Alderhorn, Fashion Design with High Honors. Mario Valdezon, Music, Honors. Sandra Dahlgren, Fashion Merchandising with the Highest Honors. Raguel Shomar, Business Administration, Honors. Frida Elizabeth Swoden, Fashion Design with Honors. Claudia Yolanda Hernandez, Accounting, CSU General Education. Raquel Medina, Fashion Design, Business Merchandising, Fashion Merchandising. Okay, I'm good, I think. Mai Maeda, Liberal Arts. Carmen K. Langenbach, Fashion Design with Honors. Luca Cromedy. Business Management Leadership. Gweniva Willers, Liberal Arts. Jesse Anthony Cifuentes, Communication Studies. Ella Rivera, Liberal Arts. <laughs> Samim Rishan, Liberal Arts, Communication Studies, General Science, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Christian Santiago, Liberal Arts. William Salem Safari, General Science. Michelle Aguilar, Liberal Arts. Ashley Gwen, Global Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. 
Nyla Barcelona, photography. Carl Erskine Leslie, behavioral science. Graham Weir, photography. Ana Lucero, liberal arts honors. Kimberlyn Gonzalez, photography with honors. Maggie Gabriela Vialta, liberal arts. Adriana Delgado, photography with honors. Culpepper Kelly Jr., Associates Computer Information System. Julie Lynn Crow, photography. Wit Ahuva E. Bozabla, Business Administration Honors. Whitney Jane Thornton, Photography with Honors. Jessica Marie Rodriguez, CSU General Education, I get General Education. Stephanie Victoria Diaz, Liberal Arts, Public Policy, Phi Theta Kappa. Kenya Albanez, Liberal Arts Honor. Evelina Kosik, Photography with Honors. Sandra Nonoal Ramirez, Liberal Arts. Jasmine Desiree Franco, Photography with Honors. Landy Gonzalez, Liberal Arts Honors. Monica Torres, Photography with Honors. Erica Vanessa Monne, Liberal Arts Honors. Michael Story, Photography with Honors. Congratulations. Zachary Joseph Lalich, Communication Studies. Nicola L. Elder, Photography. Ali Gavamirad, administra Bu Business Administration, Honor. Jerome Torres, Photography. Brian Campos, Liberal Arts, Business Administration, Professional. William Sai Washburn, Photography with Honors. Toru Tom Suzuki, Business Administration. Joe Ceruto, Photography with High Honors. Jake David Shire, Business Administration Professional Honors. Edzel Gilbert Mariano Suarez, Photography with Honors. Vanessa Mascardo, Liberal Arts. Kim Nils Joseph Bloomquist, Photography. Arapan Panajan, General Science Honor. Maria Alicia Reyes Talavera, Photography. Mari Games, Liberal Arts Honor. Derek Kevin Martinez, Broadcast Programming and Production. Tierra Richard, Biz Tierra Richard, Liberal Science, CSU General Education. Amber Jane Maria Barboza, Liberal Arts with Honors. Jagate Eugene Packer Jr., Liberal Arts Honors. Maisha Precious Abraham Lane, Liberal Arts. Latierra Wilson, Liberal Arts. Lisa Haruka Ikeuchi, Liberal Arts with Honors. Oscar De Leon, Accounting. Juan Eric Arias, Liberal Arts, CSU, General Education. Amanda Lynn Aguirre, Liberal Arts with Honors. Brett Jared Lugo, Graphic Design with Honors. Luis Roberto Trujillo Solares, Business Administration. Praveen Sahabandu, General Science with Honors and a President's Ambassador. Maria Cabrera Abad, General Science with High Honors. 
Sarah Ashley Richards, General Science, I get C General Education with high honors. Aurelia Lucretia Reimer, Liberal Arts, General Science, and a President's Ambassador. Okay, graduates, we're almost done. We're almost there. To make it official, I need everyone to stand. Graduates, graduates, please stand. Members of the Santa Monica College graduating class of 2016, upon recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the associate degree or certificate of achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, the Santa Monica class of 2016, you may now transfer your tassels to the left. Thank you everyone for attending tonight. This concludes our commencement. After the recessional, please join us at the SMC alumni reception for refreshments in the quad. Good night. <laughs>